Welcome to another exciting episode of The Fitness View on rxmuscle.com. I'm here with my partner in crime, Hi. Gigi Amoro, the sexy <laughs> bikini pro who is dieting for I another am. show. We yes. have an exciting announcement because our own Johnny Styles did <laughs> entice Gigi right before this show to announce that she is going to do a show in where, Gigi? Puerto Rico. <laughs> Very exciting, and that is all because of Johnny Styles. Thanks, Johnny. He talked her into it. <laughs> so <laughs> now, I, now I got now. Now the pressure's on, right? The pressure is diet. on. <laughs> but besides my beautiful co-host, we have an amazing panel here for you tonight. One of our favorites on the panel, our beautiful, our talented, Tennille Ray. <laughs> Hi, Tanil. Tanil, thank hey, you for joining us tonight. I like the blue. Up. Getting through the Why traffic. Thank you. Oh my God. I know. Horrible, right? It was. I've horrible. gotten a lot of updates through your messages. <laughs> and then sitting next to Tanil, it is very hard to introduce this beautiful and talented photographer, competitor, mm -hmm. Jack of all trades. Um, Jack yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. She does give the best gifts as well. She <laughs> always brings alcohol. <laughs> And she does, how many languages, Rosetta? This is Rosetta Marta, Martati. Am I, mm -hmm. She speaks Correct. Italian. Why don't you say hello to our viewers in Italian? Buon pomeriggio. Oh, my God, I love it. How sexy is that? She can curse you out and still sound hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vaffanculo. <laughs> this is going to be a great show. Yeah. And actually, sitting next to Rosetta is a lovely woman who also speaks a few languages. Yes. This is... Miss Mrs. Karin Styles, who speaks Hola. Espanol, Hola. Hola. <laughs> and she's joining us on the panel tonight. Yes. And let's yes. kick off this show with a very hot topic that has been seen uh, on Facebook. It's seen in the papers, and once again, it is about Planet Fitness, which I'm not sure that they do this because they like the hype. But it is, a, it is somewhat of a serious topic, and I think a lot of us probably have varying opinions. If you haven't seen it, let me explain to you what's going on. Planet Fitness, once again, um, okay. had, I think it's uh, being seen on the screen, they had a transgender individual who um, I guess was born a male who decided that they felt that they were a female and should be using the women's locker room. Should and, uh, not. Should be. It's a, a person born as a male. That means with a penis, Gigi. Okay. <laughs> Once again, I have to. Gigi's dieting, so she's probably a little car below. So let me Gigi it down for you. Okay? Born a male. If you were born a male, Tennille, that means you have what gender part? Balls. You have penis. balls and a penis, <laughs> Gigi. Okay. But you, so that means that, so this individual being transgender thinks that they want to be a, a female, a woman, and wants to use the women's locker room. A woman in the locker room felt offended by this person having a, a Johnson, a uh -huh. balls and a penis, the whole nine yards that come with it. She complained to the um, management that she wasn't comfortable with it, and what transpired after that was that management asked her to leave the facility. They terminated her membership. On that note, what do you all, my co-host, my panel, what do you feel about this? About what happened about them terminating her membership? And if that was you, how would you feel about it? So it's a two-part question. Let me st start off with Rosetta. Of course. Of course I'm starting <laughs> of course. off with you. What do you think? Well, you need the microphone. Um, it really, it, it's hard to um, give an opinion on what's right and wrong because I don't really know the whole scene and what happened and how it happened. But <clears throat> in my opinion, I don't see nothing wrong with it. So um, today, we're in 2015. I think that there are a lot of people that are trying to, you know, people like her. I'm going to say her because it is a her. And uh, um, they have a hard time to accept the fact that society want to accept them the way they are, okay? Because um, you have to understand that um, today, it's, um, 
people need to have an open mind because there's a lot of people that mm -hmm. live wanting to be something else. And it's difficult because if this woman went in the men's locker room, I think she would have felt a lot more threatened. So you have to also consider and say, okay, well, what is this person going through? Not the regular person that think, okay, well, you're a man, you're not a woman. Okay, so, um, and I understand the fact that, you know, about her having two kids and she doesn't want the kids to see that. But unfortunately, what if one of her kids grows up to be like that? Okay. You understand? So, so it's, it's a very hard. There are a lot of questions. There are a lot of questions and it's, it's, it's to Neil? It's a public place. So for that reason, I feel like when you walk into a public place and you know that you're, you know, you know that you have a penis. You should right. cover it. You know, I just on the on the other side of things, like I just hate when people walk around in the in the locker room naked anyway. Right. So even, like cover yourself, cover yourself up. If she didn't show her penis, then there wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, we know? don't know. I don't know the. Yeah. No, I I believe it was shown. Yeah, I think was that, was, like, so that was so that was exposed. There was then, exposure there. Right. So um, with exposure. Right. Knowing that it's a women's locker room, right? right. I think he, I, it was correct for him to be take it. But no, her, they weren't kicked. The the person no, the with person the penis that, wasn't kicked out. The, other, the person no, who the complained person. about oh, it yeah, was not. kicked okay, out. Because you got to understand that that person that that sees herself as a female in our head when she goes in the locker room, she's going in there and she's look she's looking at other women like. She's just like one of them. If, if, but she has a penis. If, I understand that. But if the woman walked in there, okay, I know you guys are looking at it as a man, and she is seeing herself as a woman mm -hmm. and is around women, and she's not giving any threat, and she's not hurting anybody, and today, in today's world, people need to accept that. Mm -hmm. That That's just my opinion. I mean, you know. You need to have the microphone. Yeah. yeah. You, but, you know. In front of, yeah. Okay, but here's. I mean, here's but what happened when, when that person it's famous like Bruce Jenner. You already know he's a male. So it doesn't matter if she's showing or not, it's just how happened, well, well, how you see it, even though you already know he's a male, even though he's not showing anything. Well, how would you feel? Possibly Bruce Jenner is not gonna walk around I know, nude Bruce just because <laughs> he's Bruce, he or she or well, whatever. you never know where you're gonna see him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you never know. I mean, it was in the locker room. Of my, course, in the locker room, you get changed. My position on this has to be the position as a mother. And as, as a mother, I have to think about having two girls. And there comes a point when you're a mother, and every household, I think, makes their own rules, mm -hmm. where you don't let the daddy walk around right. in front of the kids. Of so if I'm not letting my husband, and we make that ruling in our house when it's you know, appropriate, okay, you know, why they don't see daddy naked, and mm -hmm. then why are they going to look at another man's penis, right. and, oh, I have to explain that? Like, well, that's right. very, that's a very uncomfortable it, it topic is. at a certain point, and I don't think that should be shoved down my throat mm -hmm. by, a, by, by, by some, some liberal way. corporation yeah. to make that judgment for me. So my suggestion is, if you're this liberal corporation accepting all, which it's not that I don't accept all, Bibles. then well, mm -hmm. perhaps mm -hmm. if you feel that strongly to accept and embrace all, for those everybody. that that feel that way, that might not have the appropriate body part, maybe they could make a separate locker room because they're such a big corporation for those that don't have the appropriate body part to fit what they are, <laughs> okay? Or, you know, here you go for if you have... You, a, right. a room that if you know that's family change room they have that like a, a, a family a, changing yeah. room they have mm -hmm. or a gender confused <laughs> changing room or you know <laughs> a transgender room a trans or <laughs> something like why would they kick out the girl who had said something that doesn't because she would... offended the person that was transgender she probably well, lost the, she probably lost like, it she probably went no she and, told other people about it well that's it you and know, she said i'm ready. uncomfortable yeah. And are you uncomfortable? And I can understand the fact about feeling uncomfortable, but this woman is not the only woman in the whole world. And there are plenty of people like her that do go in women's locker room. 
And I'm sure that this is not the first time that the woman went in a locker room to get changed. So if other women didn't take notice, but this one person among all oh, these I think I other gyms. Gyms. I think people took I notice, but they didn't say anything. anything. You know? Well, I, you know, sometimes I'll see a woman that looks like a man, but she's a woman. Well, how do you know she's a woman? No. Well, how do you know? Because you looked? Rosetta, how do you know she's a woman? No, what I'm saying is. Rosetta, how do you know they're a woman? Okay, the, I know I know for a fact that everybody has met a woman that has questioned, is that a woman or a man? But it is a woman. But you know that's you know? a woman. So uh, you're, you everybody know, has met one. I don't care what anybody says. So, it, you know, th that how man you, how could have really been... How did you know for sure they were a Pat, woman? Remember Pat on, on Saturday Night Live? Was that a guy or girl? You know what Pat is? No. No, not no. okay. I don't, I, no, I, there's a character. <laughs> I think I'm Pat, a little Pat. bit sure... Was but that I think a woman? Step one. Or was that a male? I don't even know. If you have to make a separate changing room, then you're saying these people are not accepted in society, and, and I, I think, think it's, it's wrong. A, but it's a That's lack it. of consideration. I'm sorry, no, because standing means that you don't accept gay no. people. It's I think just it's the a same lack. Thing. If, you can't if, do that. It's a not lack today. of consideration. If I walked into the locker room, well, and that I is had not allowed back. Not today. Well, no. that if I walked into the locker room, Rosetta is getting uninvited. Yeah, and I had daughters. How okay. do I explain this? Okay, you need to explain. Okay, Rosetta, what do you say fair. to my okay. little girl? Okay, if they I'm were your fair. little girls, what do you say? It's not okay, fair. let me explain something. To you. I want to hear it. I would want to explain to my little girl now. about Bring her that. The microphone. I would want to explain to my little girl or boy about that because in life they're gonna be faced with people like that. In life, they have to learn about everything and everybody. But she, and there it's is all been kinds. Ambush, though it's 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 not something that you were able to teach. So what if what if what if you okay what if your son grows up to be what that man is today, what would you think? What would it you would think? Be, it would but be an I, issue. I, I think the, the but point, then it shouldn't be an wait, issue wait, wait, because wait, this wait, person wait, is Karina like that. Was, wait, wait, let's let her talk. It no. wasn't something that was just, it was out in the open, right? But, but I whatever, understand. if you cover yourself, if you cover yourself, then nobody knows, right? Right. We can we can look at you and say, is that a man? Well, I'm sure the, but nobody would make an issue. Right. But, but it's a locker room, of course. I am going to <laughs> say, it's a locker, locker room. room. Of course he's going to okay. get changed. Kareem, what would like you that. like to, to add? I think I'm not a parent yet, but I think yes. me as a parent, you need to let your kids know that this is happening in this society. And it, and it is. You know what? It's a changing room. Sometimes they're women, they're naked also. That's yeah. not right I don't either. think it's right either. No. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so right. it, it doesn't matter what way it is. It's not right. But we have to teach our kids this is happening in this. So know? let, well, let, I, let I me know ask you something. Let you me my <laughs> child? And what are we For showing me? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh, everything. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a Really? <laughs> you know, when I when I was a teacher, at, right before I went into the school system, they had a whole curriculum on my two moms, my two dads, and it was so controversial on whether the school system should teach that or not. And it came into play that it was something that should be taught in the home. But what I'm saying is, this is when your quest bars come in handy. You cover the kids' eyes with your quest bars, <laughs> and you say, don't look, put your quest bars in front of your head. You see, this is why I carry these in my purse at all times, because this is when the quest bars come in handy. It's not just for eating, it's for hiding your eyes in front of your children. And, you know, this topic can go on and on. Of course. And it's, it's a hot topic, it is. but I will say, I don't know if you recall, in the past, we right. had um, Lee Penman yeah. mm -hmm. on the show, we did a whole segment on transgender, and we learned a lot, and it made, I think, us very aware, and I had a conversation with Lee about this topic. Um, he actually sent me a message about this, and I said, we're, we're talking about it tonight, and we were going back and forth, messaging each other, and um, I said, one of the things I mentioned was, if somebody could prove and had done the paperwork, you know, like on their license, that they're a male or a female, they probably should be allowed in wherever they are. If you have, and Lee brought up an interesting topic where um, he said it's usually not an issue for somebody that's going from a female to a male. Nobody really questions, you know, like a, a woman that wants, you know, that is okay. calling themselves a male. It's usually the other way you know, harder for a man that's seeing themselves as a woman. It's harder for them to look more acceptable okay. in what we call a female and that's mm -hmm. usually 
what it is. And let me tell you, they're getting better. They're getting better. They're getting really better. Really <laughs> <dreams on laughs> oh, yeah, they're getting better. They're getting like yeah. double they take. <laughs> remember, remember that incident with, was it, what was the, uh, the man that, um, the actor that picked up the, uh, yeah. No, Hugh, uh, Hugh, Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Eddie Jackman? Oh, oh, yeah. uh, no, not Hugh a stripper. Um, a chen? Uh, Hugh Grant. Uh, yeah. Picked up a hooker, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. Does anybody have anything to add to this um, that we haven't already? Rosetta, I might let you back. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, if you, you know, say something to our viewers that you're going to, in Italian, I think you'll, you'll be redeemed. Latin? Latin? <laughs> oh, no. no. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? What? Oh, Deutsch? German. Yeah. I speak Is Yiddish. Uh. Oi vey. <laughs> <laughs> Oi vey, this was a heated topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Don't forget, you can check out speciesnutrition.com. And thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon on another hot topic in our next segment. I'm Seth Johns. I'm on the ASA national team, and I snowboard hard every day. For complete joint health, I take Arthralyze Elite. Species Nutrition, what species are you? I have DB4, Kim Williams, what species are you? Heather Dees, and you are watching RX Television. Mm. Welcome back to the Fitness View. We are here with a crazy panel tonight, and of course, my partner in crime, which I went to the Arnold Classic with my partner in crime, Gigi. Had a little mini vacay. Yeah, that was a crazy vacation. Uh -huh. I'm not sure that everybody saw what happened at LaGuardia Airport, but we finally made it there like everyone else. Five that, delayed later. Yeah. Five delayed. Was, and, and I must admit that Gigi brought her little Coach Gigi bag filled with all her food. And yes, she had the audacity, <laughs> the audacity to open okay, up so you had a, a picture. Thank a you. container of 
fish, okay? <laughs> Which was the dumbest thing in the world because the whole plane could smell the fish. Now that would be fine if she actually stuck to her diet on the weekend, okay? <laughs> and here I am to confess that spending the weekend with Gigi, I now know that she what cheated happened? on the diet, okay? And- I mean, the worst. No, I am, I am confessing that because we were so delayed, is why she did eat that fish. She was like, I can't help it. I'm gonna have to get it down. And of course, every guy on the plane was like, I'll help you, I'll help you. I know, they were like falling over the seat, getting her bag, and she takes out the fish, and you know, no one wanted to say anything. They were all like, <laughs> So they get the bag, she eats the fish, and then we're so hungry, because we're about seven hours yeah. delayed on everything and me I don't care I'm like I'm done like she's like what are you eating I'm like I have biscotti I have a quest bar I have quest chips I'm just eating she's like you know that's not really healthy you need a real meal okay and then she pulls out she has two freaking muffins <laughs> so I'm like, oh I need a real meal so she eats the muffin right and so she eats like two bites from the muffin top. I'm like what are you doing she goes I'm well, I'm just going to have a little bit because I need a little something now. I have low blood sugar. <laughs> you didn't know that about me, did you? I'm like, it's not low blood sugar. You're cheating. I'm like, don't oh, masturbate right. yourself over there with this bullshit, right? <laughs> like, she goes, oh, now, you need to get rid of it. I'm like, so I'll just save it for myself for tomorrow. No, you can't do that. You have to flush it down the toilet and I need to hear the flush. I, I just so I don't eat the whole thing because then I'll just go and grab it again. Oh, look, and there like, we are. Well, oh, that's that how the day cool. started, yeah. and that's how it ended how, after walking. How by. Gigi looks so good, and I look like crap because I am the one holding all of Gigi's stuff. <laughs> I am her servant the entire weekend, and I don't know if he has the picture that Gigi has to text five million people and email hundred people. <laughs> being with Gigi is like being with a cell phone and a body. So, <laughs> so any carpal tunnel surgeons out there, please, now we're gonna start paying you $5 a month for her surgery <laughs> in the future. Anyway. Um, I, I can't even, I, every single thing that you just said right now is so true. <laughs> <laughs> So even if we're trying to get like the singles, I can't, if I wrote her ad right now. You it would, did write my ad. I know, and I'm gonna have to add to it. Sorry, she texts every hour and emails all her clients. So you're gonna have to be somebody very independent and patient. She'll get around to you. And you both like the smell of fish, okay? So. Oh my God. Anyway, the Arnold Classic weekend. Um, even if the panel was not there. I was there. Tenille. Where were you? <laughs> I was in the species booth. Oh. Oh, then that means you weren't there. <laughs> no, okay. I was there. I, they, you guys held my back. Just for like a good behind the booth <laughs> all weekend. But you know what, Corrine? Don't you think it was better to be at a booth than trying to get around? I. This is my third year that I've been coming, and I never had <laughs> the time to go around, so I don't really know how that feels. So uh, question, have you ever like had to use the restroom there? Yes, I did. So how long <laughs> but it does was it like, take you? It was like two minutes, so it was easy for me. Oh, you, you, were, you were close. I was close to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, which bathroom did you go to? Were you woman. feeling like a man or a woman no, that day? No, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You woman today. Are, you guys are bad. <laughs> I, you know what? If the men's room is closer, I'm going to feel like a man that day. <laughs> Why not? Getting no. down the aisles no. at like, the Arnold. I you... missed the men's uh, prejudging because I couldn't get out fast enough. a lot enough. of people. Actually, I think the turnout was actually more than any other year. So 18,000. Competitors. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I had written it down, but of course great. I didn't bring it with me. But well, we <laughs> saw the finals, it. though. We saw the finals. We did see the finals. We saw everything. I did my interviews first. Um, <coughs> what What did you think of, you know, speaking of that and the Arnold's, let me go into a topic that I was going to save for a different segment, the prize money. Dun, dun, dun. So the women seem to get Peanuts. Nothing. paid less in prize money than the men. As a matter of fact, let Actually, me... Actually, the bikini... 
way less. The bikini and the men's physique gets paid less. Meanwhile, sixth place yes. was $75,000. Oh, <laughs> all right, so let's see. Let's see. I have the sheet here, Gigi. Talking about bikini? That's this is when Gigi okay. becomes okay. Jewish okay. when it comes to money. She's <laughs> very good at this. <laughs> Go, Gigi. <laughs> Go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Okay, let's see. So bikini for sixth place is $1,000. No, oh, talk wow. about first place bikini. I first wanna... place. That, seven. Seven thousand dollars for first place bikini, and how much is a suit? A competition. A thousand. Suit? A thousand. Twelve hundred. A custom suit. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much is a men's suit? <laughs> fifty dollars. It's fifty. <laughs> fifty to two hundred, depending look. if you want a little roushing, a little extra nip Wait, and tuck on the side. We're right. talking about bodybuilding or for bodybuilding men. Bodybuilding men. So okay. I'm not talking about. I'm, I'm talking about physique suit. I don't know. Al, how much is a men's physique suit? Between thirty and eighty. Maybe you can get a clearance <clears throat> special, like a little clearance rack. Like 50 to 100, right? Yeah. Pacific Sun, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> OP, you know. So for men's, yeah. <laughs> men's physique, first place is 5,000. Okay, so men's physique, 5,000. Okay. Women's. Bikini is. You're not going to like me, are you? <laughs> Bikini, yeah, she's Women's gonna... figure, first place, is Let's just 16, note to self, Rosetta's not allowed back. <laughs> Wait. Figure, 16,000, first place. Figure gets, okay, men's bodybuilding. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> First place, 130,000. Wow, that's oh, a different, wow. like a whole zero on the end. That's like, yeah. yeah. That's a whole decimal point so, over. Men's physique, first place is only at 5,000. It's less than bikini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And but you don't have to have calves or legs, so that makes sense to me. Well, look at women's physique. So if you have to have half a body, you 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 know. <laughs> okay, but uh, you know you shouldn't get all the money the, anyway. The two twelve though doesn't get a lot of money. Two twelve gets twenty two thousand. So place. comparatively to yeah to the what the women are getting, right. the two twelve is getting yeah. a decent. Right, it's getting double. Yeah, but you gotta. But Once it, again, it's a very comp to, <laughs> comparatively to the men's. Yes. So. What about the woman? Physique? Woman physique. Women's physique gets five thousand. Which is five thousand. That, that's. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. So bikini, yeah. women's bikini gets more than women's physique. And then figure that, gets that the most. Make mm. And anything. figure gets the most. Gets the most. Fit, what about right. fitness? Fitness, same thing. Twenty twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand for fitness. Half. Okay. Well, I, I think it's they, there's a reason okay. for it. Okay. I, Rosetta, Rosetta. No, I, I know. From I know. the men's yeah. bathroom, Rosetta, tell us what the reason is. <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't have to like me. I happen but. to like you very much. <laughs> she loves you, trust me. She didn't even know it. Okay. Well, I think the reason. Well, there's a couple of reasons. One main reason I think is because, I mean, you can't compare. A bikini to a bodybuilding uh, prep. I mean, you can't you can't compare a, a, a bikini's cost of a bathing suit compared to a bodybuilder expenses. Those are two different things. Those are two different, totally two different. I mean, one is here and one is there. So, I mean, bodybuilding. I mean, Joe Weider. You know. <laughs> no, what I'm I'm not putting bikini down. I'm not putting fi uh, figure down. I train girls that are competing now in bikini. Trust me. So I'm not yeah. here to, you that know, is, it's not about that. What that's I'm why I asked for the woman physique because about competition, they eat not not like, yeah. not like a bodybuilding, but it's still the oh, price. Absolutely, is, is, is absolutely. And I think I think all of this should be changed. But you got to remember that Joeita started bodybuilding. You understand, okay, and men, you know, people, people go there to see Say body. Say it in Italian you know. and then translate, because I know it's dying to come out <laughs> the way you feel. Say it how <laughs> you feel. <laughs> Bring it to us <laughs> from, it like from the heart. I'll from say the it like, you know From I'll the say it like I'll, say, <laughs> I'll say it in Italian because you guys have a lot of Italians in Italy that do follow your show, although <laughs> say they how you don't feel. understand. Because so I, I have you're struggling a little bit. Give it to us good. <laughs> okay, so listen. Ora, lo spiego in italiano o lo spiego in americano? Lo spiego in italiano. In italiano. Plow <laughs> us. And I'm going to tell them what you're saying. Tell us in Italian and I'm going to oh, give the English version. Oh, you're just going to translate. And, okay. in your opinion. and the host is going to translate. <laughs> Go ahead, yes. say it in Italian. Okay, allora. Sono due categorie, due livelli right. molto diversi. <laughs> 
Bodybuilding was the foundation. My God. I always listen to Nancy Norman on the fitness view. That's not what I'm saying. It. She knows nothing. She's a never a writer. She only knows how to make a pasta. Yes, I do. I really do. And a no prima bowling. <laughs> no deca. I cook very good. Well, hey, listen, you no, got no, go. no, 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 I don't care. I mean, I'm it's fine. Say it when the moon I'm hits the sky like a big pizza pie, <laughs> that's a mode. <laughs> so on that note, what I was saying is, because oh, you're not going to like me. No, I like you so much. You um, have no idea. Is, is that bikini, okay, bikini and physique just arrived. Do you understand? Bodybuilders have started so of course the prize and the foundation is revolved about bodybuilders. So you can't really take that away from them. You know, you can't compare what a bikini competitor receives compared to a bodybuilder. That's just my opinion. But I do agree that the pri prices mm -hmm. should be changed and everybody, now that they added bikini and physique, they should change the prizes because now they are part of the industry and part of bodybuilding. So, yes, I do agree that the prices should be yeah. changed. But I you need to understand, you. bodybuilding is the, foundation. the number one and is the foundation. Absolutely. And is a completely different, you know. But also because the, the bodybuilding helps sell supplements. So if I don't think that's I'm going to use a, I'm going to use an example. To, well, something that I researched a, a while ago because I said to myself, "How come Kai gets so much money? How come Jay Cutler gets so much money?" And so the the theory was if they promote a product, if they say species nutrition is the best protein on the market, which then it everybody is. and it is, and then everybody's going to go and buy it, right? Mm -hmm. But if a female says it, it it doesn't have that same effect. You know, well, she doesn't really have as much muscle. She's not as, as dominant as a male. She's not as strong as a male. So that's why they give the men. Depends on the audience. It depends. It depends well, on the audience. Depends. But if you yeah. look across the board. I don't know that I agree with you. Yeah, I don't know. I when don't... you open up Flex Magazine, when you open up Iron Mag like, Magazine, and when you open up any magazine, who do you see? You see the men right. with the supplements. You don't really and see. And those are supplements and, I wouldn't probably buy. And I wouldn't buy it, but... Our mailman over here might buy 10 jars but who, of whatever. But if you want to get technical, in the marketing standpoint, the women are the spenders. Well, mm -hmm. technically, we are supposed to be the spenders, but according to the industry, we only buy things that are pink and black. <laughs> I don't really. know that. I, I like think that, that we're coming. I, <laughs> I, I, think, I think sponsorships and purchasing is a separate category yeah. to the prize money. Mm. I think that Rosetta... Um, I think that's a good topic, but I don't think that's what is well, on task. Yeah, I think research, Rosetta. We can do the full research and bring it back because that's a fact. Mm. I, I don't disagree. I mean, I happen to be part of a whole marketing, mm -hmm. right. you know, that's part of what I do, but that's not what I'm bringing to task here. I think the prize money and why women get paid less, even I think that Rosetta hit a key point that the foundation of bodybuilding and I these shows what were men's bodybuilding it was arnold schwarzenegger yeah. and um lee haney and, yes. and these men were what made it possible yes. for bikini to be born and physique to be born Absolutely. And all of this came from the foundation of that that's the roots of it yes now would people come out to these shows if the men's bodybuilding were not there that's a good question. and i actually had a conversation with dave and if i if i understood what dave was saying to me I think what he was saying um, was that a good test pilot would be if they split it to see who would actually come if they split, um, you know, I, I, if I understood what he was saying, and I don't want to parrot him, I mean, mm -hmm. he is here, where he was saying if they put bodybuilding separate, mm -hmm. you know, and women's physique is really more towards bodybuilding, mm -hmm. and they kept that as one show, and then they put men's physique and bikini mm -hmm. into another show, as somewhat of a pilot program, you would kind of see who, who, who right, where your mm -hmm. audience, audience was for each one mm -hmm. and know what your market was, and then you could see who would come out, and then maybe you could divide the prize money and, and get a feel for where your audience was. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure <laughs> if I said that, what Dave was saying, but I agreed with him on that, which sometimes I don't always agree with Dave. Right. But um, <laughs> he's usually very intelligent and, and on the mark with a lot of things. Um, I'm not sure 
there were, were a couple of clips we had from the Arnold. I don't know if Johnny's going to put them up or not um, from Gigi and I being. Pole dancing? Oh, no. Yeah, we did pole dance. I didn't give him the pole dancing no. one, I don't oh. think. There was a pole dancing picture. I'm here with Dennis James at the Gap booth. Oh. <laughs> and we're having a great time. And <laughs> we're laughing because apparently the next great guru is again somebody that's overweight. How interesting is that, Dennis? Um, um, this must be the bacon and egg diet <laughs> that he puts all the people on. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't want to disrespect nobody, but if you tell somebody or you want to teach somebody to get in shape, at least be in shape or just somewhat decent shape so you can at least say you've been there and done that. Because looking like a big walking donut jelly roll, sometimes <laughs> it's not going to cut it. How would I believe you if you don't even look like it? Um, yeah, we're, we're a little confused. Uh, one, of, one of the top pros just introduced us to their guru, and the guru was very large. Not, not, not very large. Large and in charge. Yes. So he was a little, he was, little, he was a little belly heavy. <laughs> <laughs> belly heavy. It, was not, it wasn't even that bad. It was about 40 pounds but, overweight. But between us, how long have we been around this industry? Um, Whoa, 23 years for me. Yeah, but you, I mean, I'm around like as a viewer, but you're in... 23 the years today. today. So This is actually my 18th Arnold. Wow. I, I don't know. 18, 18 years. 18 I, I skipped years. I've Arnold since 2003, and it is so crowded. How, how does yeah. it feel when you walk through the aisles? Well, it, it doesn't feel like anything because you, you can't get through there. I mean, it literally took me 25 minutes earlier to get to the bathroom. And then I had to wait there in line to take a piss. Here, here, here's an interesting question. Do people bother you in the bathroom when you're trying to go to the bathroom? That's funny. They want to shake hands while I'm pissing. Because can I take a pick? I said, can I take a piss? You know what's really funny? I, the last Arnold I was at, I was um, with Dorian Yates, and he said the same thing to me. He said, I can't even go to the bathroom here. I'm literally in the bathroom, and I'm taking a piss, and the guy next to me asked me, can I take a pick? I said, can I take a piss? He said, okay, I didn't want to bother. I said, okay, let me take a piss. So I take a piss, and then he want to shake my hand. I said, can I wash my hand? They don't even care. Some of them don't. Not all. Um. Dennis and I have known I don't know who you're talking about. Dennis James. No, I don't know. I'm not going to okay. give the guru up. I'm not. Just look around at the chunky gurus. I mean. And unfortunately, it's strange. To me, I'm not sure. Would you go to a dentist that doesn't have teeth? <laughs> no. No. I mean, I, mean I, I might go to a male gynecologist. That's okay to me. But it's just strange. A lot of the gurus that I'm seeing they're they're not in shape and i understand that maybe you don't want to follow the plan but it was it really you know that was i was at the the gap booth oh, yeah, because yeah. i was waiting for you Gigi, once again hey guys what's going on this is Gigi from the fitness view here with rxmuscle.com and nancy and i here are at the auto classic and our morning started off with a cup of coffee and some great energy but after being on the expo floor all day long getting to meet some amazing athletes, getting some great samples. Our evening is ending at this little spot, which is actually pretty busy, Marcella's here on High Street, and of course, a glass of wine. Yeah, that was a long day. I want another glass of wine. Okay, so um, we ended up there, did we end up there twice? Oh, did you get in a fight with some dude that was I didn't get in a fight. He thought Again. I was fighting with him. He I wasn't was, fighting with him. He was like talking ten. very loud. Again. He was drinking. I wasn't <laughs> fighting. We were talking loud. It was loud in there. Uh -huh. um, uh, before we end this segment, I just want to throw out there um, that just in current events, I, I meant to touch on the topic. I'm not sure that everybody saw there was a house fire in Mill Basin for um, new, brand new sensation pro IFBB pro Dominic Cardone mm -hmm. and um, I had a, had a conversation with him they were doing a fundraiser for that his ha on March 9th he was one of four houses that had gone on fire he lives there with his parents and he has three siblings so there are four children and his mom has been going through chemotherapy and cancer okay. 
Um, and I know there's been a lot of talk. Um, they have a fund, uh, GoFundMe.com. You can go to his Facebook page if you want to be able to get straight to that fund. I think they've raised up to fifty or fifty-one thousand dollars at this point. I had an exchange with Dominic because a lot of stuff on the board is talking about why do they need this fund? They probably have um, insurance and because his dad has been taking care of his mom and his mom took care of the bills apparently their um fire their homeowner's insurance lapsed and it, it hit the 30-day grace period on march 4th and this fire took place on march 9th so to all those asking that question what about the fire insurance um it did lapse so they're kind of out on their own um going to fund this house and take care of everything. And when I did see the research on the house, it was a house that didn't have all its permits and everything that started the fire. And and it hit the other um, four houses, the three houses. So it kind of, they really got a raw deal there. Uh, if you've been following how, I mean, it just seems like such a great family. I've had great exchanges with Dominic. Ron teases me, oh, that's your little boyfriend on Facebook. I just like his style. I love that he likes the old school bodybuilders mm -hmm. like Nasser. He's um, also really supportive. Have it's, you? Yeah, absolutely. I think because you're out there. I, I used to, yeah. That used to be my. He used to be my cardio buddy as well. Oh, really? Um, yep. And we've had oh, loads of conversations about life and things in general. And Dominique, it's been a sensation since he was about what 16, 17 years old. Um, one of the other things that people don't know is that his dad built this house with his bare hands. So it's like one of those things where it's not just a house that you you drove up and you bought. You put your heart and your soul into this mm -hmm. house oh, and, and so it's cool. gone. So that's heart wrenching. You know, to do anything for them, for that family is that's a really good family between the mother, the the daughter, the son, the Dominique. I mean, th that's a really good family. And if anything were to happen to anybody, and he's around, he's one of the first people that would always extend his hand. So, yeah good people they seem like a really yeah. tight group besides mm -hmm. the GoFundMe at um, Bev's gym East Coast uh, Mecca in Syosset on April 19th I know that Jimmy Bluff is flying in and donating his time and all of the sessions that he's booked he's giving all the money to that Matt Acton is doing personal training sessions mm -hmm. I think so far those are the two that have signed up for it I'm not sure who else is joining on just pay attention I'll start posting things on um, my Facebook page, Nancy Norman uh, Fitness View. I'll keep things going. Um, or my Instagram. Uh, what is my Instagram, DJ? Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, 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 Nancy Fit, Fit View. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not the best at my social media, but I'm trying. Um, <laughs> I'm doing okay, right, Gigi? You are, you are. She's helping me. Um, <laughs> so I think that if anybody um, is out there and listening to this have a heart go to the gofundme page if you can donate it is one of our own um so we're going to wrap up this segment and stay tuned and uh, coming up on the next segment we have some exciting topics thanks for watching and stay with us I'm Seth Johns, I'm on the ASA national team, and I snowboard hard every day. For complete joint health, I take Arthralyze Elite. Species Nutrition, what species are you? IFBB Pro Kim Williams, what species are you?
trust. I cannot wait for you to meet fitness superstar, legend, and god, and my friend, Billy Blanks. Hi. How are you doing, guys? Today we're gonna be making some double chocolate chunk taquitos. Does that sound interesting? Oh, that sounds really good. Mmm. Mm, this is great. This is IFBB Figure Pro Heather Dees, and you are watching RX Television. Mm. to the fitness view, and we just caught Gigi eating a bar. <laughs> no, no, um, it, was, it was gum. <laughs> <laughs> paper, paper, Gigi, paper. Gigi, was Super that part of, <laughs> part of, part yeah. of, did you, did part. you steal my Quest bar? I, I did. <laughs> Gigi. It was open right in your seat. Yes. <laughs> Don't judge. That was my Quest, <laughs> my Quest cravings, and you took it out of my purse. Oh my God. Well, one of the highlights of our Arnold trip was that we were at the, we, um, in following Gigi around like a little puppy, we did stop at the Quest booth and we, we were talking with Bruce Cardenas and there's Gigi with Bruce. And hey, Bruce. he is ruggedly handsome, I must admit. Really nice and guy. He is a great guy. Mm -hmm. And I did tell, you know, Bruce, like, oh, I'm going to send you some products. I'm like, Bruce, you don't have to send me any products. My twins take your chips um, for snack. We eat them in the house. And as a matter of fact, here are all my Quest bars that I keep. Does anybody need to try anything? I'm feeling that. Because <laughs> you've never had that, no. and I oh don't know. My God. I, yeah, I think good. Johnny may put up. My kids were so excited. He still, anyway, oh, went so out cute. and sent Thanks. sent us. We share. And prior to him sending that, I mean, I had put up a picture of Taryn um, with, uh, there she was taking oh, her chips so to school <laughs> on her skateboard. Love she it. came back up the driveway to grab more. So she took them out of my car. Look at the face, look at the face. Yeah, I mean, I happen to really like them. And they are Ron Norman approved, That's which is, <laughs> that we were doing that way before. <laughs> I have pictures of myself doing that before she was born. So, um, which is a great thing, because actually Ron went through all the ingredients, and Ron Norman has approved Quest. That is huge for everybody to know. And they are gluten-free. My kids are gluten-free. So, um, and I've turned a lot of people on to it. Um, and it was very exciting to get the package, so thank you, Mr. Bruce Cardenas, for thank the you, care package. So we do like it. I happen to love the cookies and cream. What are you... I I like that cheesecake. Yeah, G G G. Keep the G. Keep the cheesecake. And the Reese's are good too. They're, um, <laughs> if you haven't tried the yeah. Quest cravings, um, they are um, peanut butter cups. Oh. They do taste like oh, um, yes. Reese's. Like yes. That's yeah. the new one. S'mores. I actually get the kids to behave with them. So, <laughs> anyway, like, oh. let me move on <laughs> to the next topic, and competing since. Who here is competing? Is it just right. Gigi? No. Come on, when are you going to get yes. on stage, Neil? Soon. When soon? Soon and very soon. See the butts going down. Oh, no, you want to stand up and share, share the tushy? Down. So what's your, uh, what is it? So, <laughs> Neil, why, what division are you doing? Why is this? The, this is always the, anybody who knows me. <laughs> figure. Knows that I do figure. Okay. Because and when, phys, when I talk to physique you. competitors, they always say, oh, you're a figure competitor, right? Yes, I love my shoes. And <laughs> myself and Larissa Rice, when they give us the opportunity to wear shoes, then we'll get on the physique stage. So we're, so let's it's, go. It's the shoes. <laughs> and the okay, so you're doing figure. When's your, next, when's your next show? I haven't decided yet. You know I don't like that pressure. But I will say I'm going to compete no later than July. Oh, really? Yes. You're doing Atlantic States, aren't you? Yeah, you know, I, I started training. I won again. Atlantic States before, so maybe I can win it again. Who knows? Okay. So. <laughs> so my question is, now everybody that, that is competing here or has competed or has been around competing, my question is, oh, you're wow. so tiny. See? Does that look Damn. like physiques to you? Nah. 
girl. You look very good. Tiny T. And I like you in the blue. Thank you. And that would look really good with this cookies and cream crust bar. stay like that all year round? Seriously. That's my problem. <laughs> that, that's my problem. You know, problem. <laughs> I will, I have to say, that, that's a good question. That wasn't going to be a topic, mm -hmm. but I think it's a good topic. Mm -hmm. How do you cope with the feeling of being in competition shape and coming down and fitting in the smaller clothes mm -hmm. and feeling that way and then getting larger <sighs> and filling out? And what does that do to your head? Cause I know how I felt. Like, wait, it, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell a joke about Gigi. She's like, oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna burst. I can't. I don't know what's going on. What should I do? I, I said, Gigi, drink more water. No, it's not working. It's not helping me. I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna bust. <laughs> Love you, Gigi. So, so I, what? It's a constant struggle. I'm telling you, you know, for because I compete all year round. You know, like eight out of the 12 months and like I see myself like this small and I start <laughs> buying clothes you know to fit my new body and like in my head I'm like this is this is great I look great and then once you know after the, my last show and then a month or two later then I go back to normal me and sometimes it's a little bigger than you know look at you Gigi see now Th that was contest that, you know <laughs> that was day, the day before Lori I Lori Coppola put up a picture and she's like, it's hard to embrace. And I, I really related it to it. It was when she was competing. Am I saying her name right, Lori? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and I love her. Um, she's like, it's hard to embrace what you look like when you're all dieted down and competing. And then when you look at the picture of yourself, you think you're, 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 you know, when looking back at it and you relish what you look like after the fact because you don't even realize how good you looked at that time. That was the picture where she wrote it. And I completely understand it. Now, for me, there are a lot of Throwback Thursday pictures where I see my, you know, what I looked like, but I never even thought about it. You don't it. look that what different you, from your, first of all, you don't look that hair. different from your, right, just her just big hair. hair. That's pretty much hair. it. And one day, hair. you know what, next show, I'm coming in with big hair. Yeah. I'm coming in <laughs> and I'm gonna wear the same outfit. But so what do, how do you deal with that? Because I think that's probably something that a lot of the viewers, and I know mm -hmm. the guys probably feel that way too. Mm -hmm. I think um, for me, it's strange. I, and it, I'm not going to blame being Panamanian and all that stuff, but that has culture and how you eat has a lot to do with how you maintain yourself. And I've been, Dave knows, I've been... <laughs> I, it's been a constant, constant struggle, mm -hmm. but for some reason, I think I finally found some sort of method. But the first time Tell I me. ever competed, no, I, I think I found a method to eating better. Oh, Ooh, sexy. Okay, you want me to wear that outfit? I have all the outfits. But wow. the, f I think the first time I competed, I didn't realize that. That not, I'm not in shape in these pictures. That I had a Dima, and nobody <laughs> said it. Like what? Are we why do I yeah, yeah, I look Chinese. There's a picture, and I'll find it. I'll, I'll send it to you later. But I looked completely Chinese, and I didn't know that I was, you know, I went from eating asparagus and fish to the next day, oh, I'm going to have pizza, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have all the things that I did, and I literally blew up, blew up like a starfish. So, learned, well, I learned some things just taking a break because I took the whole year off, so I learned some things. So let's see what happens this time around. <laughs> Rosetta, mm -hmm. what about you? Because you have competed as well. Um, oh, yeah, well. But I don't think you look any different. Oh, thank you. Well, it, it really depends on um, the person's mentality and how they are. And if they're having securities, if they're confident with themselves, if they understand that being a little bit out of shape but still healthy mm -hmm. but looking good in everybody else's eyes is okay, and when you're in content shape, to embrace that and say, okay, I look good, let me enjoy it, but then let me go back to put in a few pounds knowing that I still look good mm -hmm. to society. And you know, that's what everybody wants to look at. Oh, look at you, mommy. Mm -hmm. You, you know, so I, I think every individual has uh, battles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let you, me, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, has anybody ever seen that commercial, the Dove commercial, where they have a stranger described to a person how they view them mm -hmm. by and how you view, and then the that. person views describes to an artist how they view themselves mm -hmm. and the picture that the artist draws is completely different so if you were right, gonna, right if i were going to describe myself 
I might say, oh, my eyes are too close together, my nose mm -hmm. is big, right. my cheeks are very sunken in. Like these are all the things that I see as flaws mm -hmm. in myself. And, then if, and then if Gigi were gonna describe me, she'd say she's luscious, she's she beautiful, she has yes. gorgeous she lips, your big hair. Right. right? She has big hair. No, but you know, you would say something. Absolutely. So, it's it's funny because I was talking about that today with my. Um, as you all know, I, I'm taking pole dancing um, lessons. And my pole instructor, I'm like, I don't want to wear these little shorts. You know, I'm not in shape yet. And you have to have a lot of skin to stick to the pole. She's like, you're so crazy. You're so critical. I wish you could see me the way that I see yourself the way that mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And I said, well, maybe it's just because I've been in this stupid industry for so long. And I'm around like A.G. Amoro. What? That's old pole. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. I'm, I'm really proud of you that you're doing pole. You're actually getting exercise in. You're like doing pole dancing. I am doing pole. Oh, You're getting and I have a trainer. a trainer and very good. I, I She's actually, on the treadmill in the I, I do chest and mm -hmm. legs and thighs and <laughs> abs. I do it like I used Look to. Oh, it is my pole. Yes. Yes, I'm. Um, Are you going to get one in the house? So, yes, and if I'm a good girl and stick with the pole, my poppy said I get a pole for, for Mother's Day. <laughs> good. Good. My poppy. My papi is Ran Norman. <laughs> He's from Puerto Rico. No. <laughs> Carita, no, no, no. So, but it, um, it was just interesting to say, but to, to hear someone say, but I think we all have our, you our, know, our own that view, but it's weird credit. to, right. oh, there's oh, mommy shit. training. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes, yeah, so you could see we wear a lot of makeup to the gym. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full makeup, right, Gigi? Natural. I just Natural. want to comb my hair back when I see these pictures. I'm not. Do you wear makeup to the gym, Tanil? You do. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, I have. I have. Everybody knows I battle with my skin, so I use it to. Oh, but I'm not talking about well, like a little. I, but I'm talking about like for, eye makeup and so you, know, so you even really. out your skin. I don't consider that makeup. I'm talking about like lipstick and yeah. eye. Mm -hmm. and... <laughs> no. no. I have to say this. There's a new bikini girl that came into the East Coast Mecca. And Wait, she is who? really hot. And I don't know who she is. She's blonde, but she comes full makeup. She's like five foot eight. She's got a, a real smoking little bikini body. Blonde? Yeah. No idea who she is. So she, com right? so she comes in, and Ron tells me, I'm at a new, he's like, I'm at a new, I knew exactly who he was talking about. And he goes, and she goes over the leg press. She puts on four plates. He's like, respectable weight for this tiny little thing. He goes, and then. Boom, she's taking pictures of herself, selfies, while she's doing the reps. And he's like, I couldn't believe it. I'm thinking without a selfie, she might have been able to do five plates. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's good weight that for good a weight. little tiny, tiny little mm -hmm. strong legs. That's, so let's move on to <laughs> couples and competing. Do you think it's good for a relationship or bad for a relationship to compete as a, you know, for a, for a relationship? If someone is competing, Good Gigi. Well, it, it depends on the dynamic of the two people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends mm -hmm. how they react to each other while they're dieting. I mean, I think that most couples have to find a common hobby or a common interest in order to even have somebody to talk about day to day. Mm -hmm. So I think it should be fine because if both are in like the same diet, like me and Johnny are dieting right now. Ooh, Ooh. what? Yeah. what? Johnny's what? on a diet. We, I'm forty pounds less right now. Yeah. I know Get you look it, great. Girl. Oh, you know, so, she but can't lose them we are, oh, like, I, there's no like bad food in the house. That helped me a lot. Um. So it's like nothing like mm -hmm. we complement each other. So mm -hmm. I think if it's a good dynamic and mm -hmm. they both can help each other, it would be great. Yeah. So if everybody's doing the same diet, it's mm -hmm. good. Rosetta. Well, if he eats carbs, I don't eat carbs. That's the only disadvantage. Ah, that's I why. <laughs> <laughs> that's that why. I, have, but I think it's good too because then they understand it and then it keeps you accountable. You know, like the days that you feel so like. So you're right. you're all in agreement that it's yeah. better if everybody's on the same page. That's if you and your partner can communicate with one another. Because I've mm -hmm. dated somebody dieting right. and he was like, I don't know how to show it. Right, up. yeah. Like, dude, the, I have a show to calm down. So Yeah, I think there's a <laughs> lot of dramatic <laughs> who doesn't, people in the right. industry. Right. I I no, think like, I don't care. the yeah. drama queens mm -hmm. yeah. in the in the industry is, you know, yeah. like the people who bring fish on the plane. <laughs> I think that that's completely dramatic. See, if you were competing too, then you would appreciate that. No, I could appreciate, I have lived with, 
I competitors. Think. I have married the competitors. I completely. <laughs> It depends on the personality of a, of a, of a of the couple. That's at Boston the end. Lloyd and, and Is it Ariella? Ariella. That's Dave's sweetest. daughter. Oh wow! <laughs> oh really? Dave's daughter Ariella. Oh, I was like, you know, I... Is he competing this weekend? Yeah. We should get her back on the really? show so we can talk about. Oh, Sid is that Lloyd. why they com came back this weekend? Oh, okay. I wonder. I hope he does well. That's great. Okay. Okay. Um, let's move on. Anyway. Um, so yes, I really want to do this. So. I have been the person that has never competed and always the the jockstrap of the competitor. And I think if the per I happen to say that my husband is not a drama queen with competing. So it's kind of easy, but it does get tiresome on the family mm -hmm. to have that competitor. But he's never like, don't have this in the house, don't do this. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes out to eat. Oh, he says don't have it in the house because he thinks it's not healthy for the family. Oh, okay. It's not because he won't eat it. He, mm. You could put a cake in front mm. of Ron and, he won't and eat stick it, right. his face in it like <laughs> he's sticking him walk. down a toilet bowl, yeah. and he will not eat it. Yeah, that's He true. is so disciplined. It sounds like that, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. I don't know the Okay, so we're going to wrap up this segment, and then we're going to have our sexy mailman in the next segment, testosterone in the house. <laughs> Stay tuned for our mailman. I'm Seth Johns, I'm on the ASA national team, and I snowboard hard every day. For complete joint health, I take Arthralyze Elite. Species Nutrition, what species are you? I have DB4 Kim Williams. What species are you? Heather Dees, and you are watching RX Television. Mm. Welcome back to the Fitness View. While Tanil is still talking and not paying any attention, well, let know. me say something mean about her. <laughs> well, you know, we this have our fa favorite segment. We're going to discuss whether or not Gigi should get blonde put in her hair. Can everybody I say type negative. hell to the no? Negative. Hell to the negative. no. No. 
She just wants to be like me. <laughs> but it's not going to happen. I found her in my closet trying on all my clothes the other day. No, no, no. I had to zip my suitcase at that Arnold Classic and put the lock on. Thank you to me. Yes. Let me introduce our oh wonderful mailman, Al Vera, who is a national physique competitor. Hi, so that Al. means he's only going to get half the prize money. But <laughs> are you still in it to win it? Yes, I am. Okay. Wait, so. here's a mic. Hold on. Can you hear him? Hello. Okay. So, Al, mm -hmm. tell us what your next show is. Um, I'm getting ready next week to do the uh, New York Met. Oh, so you're yeah. old. Does that mean you want to show us what you got going on? Oh, no, nah, I got to sit up the stage. <laughs> oh, wait, you need a microphone too, sweetheart. Oh, we, no, we can share it with our coffee breath. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you won't tell anybody. <laughs> Will you? Okay. Together, come a little closer to me, Gigi. Okay. Because we're all not going to be in this in the screen. And Al, you come a little in. Dave's Dave's motioning that we're not fitting. I think now we're all cozy. All right. Okay. Yes. So Al, <laughs> is it sponsored by anyone? Uh, I'm sponsored by uh, RTN Supplements, uh, R Forward Uprising uh, Athletic Gear. And uh, muscle maker group. We are really tight in here, aren't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dave really, I feel like this is like that school picture. Everybody turn your knees to the left, put your head to the right, and say, <laughs> RX muscle. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so, Al, go ahead. You so ask him some questions. No, Gigi, it's your turn. I, I don't, well, you're, go ahead. I didn't even think about it. So, Al, anymore. the question that all our viewers are thinking Okay. Are you available? No. You're not available. Who are you, who are you dating? It's a good thing Brooke's not here. When really important. Important. Who are you dating? Who are you dating? A girl. <laughs> are you what sure it's a girl? Like? What does I'm she positive. look like? Wait, the, is the girl going to use the men's room or the women's room? The Have you room. checked? <laughs> I checked. Yeah, she's all woman. She's all woman? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, if you have any problems with that, you can go to Planet Fitness. And, right. and I'm sure that person will be very you. comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> So how long have you been? I'm not competing? checking. Um, this is going to be my third season. Mm -hmm. I started in 2013, and this is going to be my uh, ninth show. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Right. What so, got you into competing? Um, I was always into fitness, but uh, my ex, who I was dating before, she wanted to, she wanted to <coughs> oh, um, compete. <laughs> this is how it started. She wanted to compete, and um, she said, I'm, I, I, you know, that I want to do bikini. I said, okay. And she started dieting. And I said, you know what? Why not support the cause? I'll jump on board with you. So you like so nice. That was, yeah, then that nice. works. So yeah. I decided to start dieting. And then she said, you should do physique. And I was like, you're crazy. But I was crazy enough to do it. Mm -hmm. And we did our first show together. And we Aww. just kept going from there. So you like the bikini girls. Uh, no, that's just what she decided to do when she wanted to compete. So. Are you oh. trying to say you don't like bikini girls? Look, look no, I do. Neil going oh, okay. in. Do you I, like I the figure like girls? <laughs> do you like the figure <laughs> girls, Al? Yeah. Or is that to say something to him in Italian? He's very, uh, very handsome. Uh, he is a good looking guy. <laughs> yes. But he's taken, apparently. But he's not. What is your husband, chopped liver? Listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> listen. She doesn't like physique guys. No, no, she no, likes no, bodybuilders. No, I like, no, no. I like men. Men. <laughs> Are you okay. sure? No, you're I'm very, sure. you're not, very proactive for transgender. Not, so okay. I'm not sure not over there. Okay, you're forgetting that I, I have a, an obsession with photography and I shoot models. Oh, okay. That one makes sense. So appreciate. you know, I appreciate a good-looking okay. guy when I'm sitting next she to him to too, besides you, taking I pictures of him. Your husband, when you photograph half-naked men. Yeah. So what does he say about you? He doesn't say nothing. No more shots. No more shots. That's it. <laughs> Alessandro doesn't. <laughs> Alessandro doesn't say anything He's because be because like, he knows how I am. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I tell him even when I think girls are gorgeous. I told him before that you were gorgeous. Oh, that was nice. I mean, you know, nothing I mean, it's I, I'm I've always nothing you know. About mommy. She said about you again. Don't I'm chopped hate. liver. Don't hate. I told <laughs> Alessandro that you were gorgeous the first day I met you. Aww. Alessandro, when we got back that. in the car, do you remember? Yes, let's, yeah. let's just forget about the mailman and talk about that day. And plus, you're blonde, <laughs> she, you're blonde she's brunette. So, you know, you have no no, no competition <laughs> there. Okay, actually, we yeah, have a different... So going back to I, Alvera here. Uh, Vera. 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 is re representing Karin. Guess where he is representing? A Puerto Rico. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Vera, you know what that means in Italian? Over here. Well, go ahead. Talk to him in Spanish. Go ahead. Leave me out once again. 
I don't. You can and, ask and him a question, and then we have change. to move on to the mailman portion of this. <laughs> Look, she's, on the spot. she's so cute. I could say it in Italian. What? Oh. I, uh, hmm? <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Yet. I, I didn't even say. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing here. But I'm glad I I it's gave you that effect. No. Volevo dire. Volevo dire che. No. Volevo dire che tu hai un sorriso meraviglioso. Una sonrisa hermosa. What? Wow. Yes. You can say it. Volevo dirti. Volevo dirti che tu. Tu. Hai un sorriso meraviglioso. My smile. My smile. I have a beautiful smile. Aww. Aww. Thank you. You're very well. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you understand? <laughs> now, would you go to a dentist without teeth? <laughs> no. Would you use a fat guru? <laughs> no. Do you use a guru? No. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, just to go back a few shows, when we had that conversation about fat trainers and you were defending it and you were saying, oh, but with their knowledge, if they have knowledge, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. Is your trainer good? Yes. Bad? No, my trainer is beautiful. It's a girl. Yes. Okay. I, I have a very pretty in-shape trainer. In shape trainer. Okay, okay, because I left um, the okay. mailbox at home, Mr. Beautiful next to me actually <laughs> has all the question in his head and he's going to ask everybody down the road because he's not only good looking, he actually has the brains as well. Oh, and yes. the muy inteligente. Ooh, <laughs> how it works around here. Because I'm bilingual too. Okay, I got Bien it. Easier ones, okay. Yeah. That's, how it, that's, how it, I got that's it. how it works. <laughs> okay, so do you want to go down the road this way and end with Gigi because it's always this is always the best part over here. See, we can just start with like a stupid question. I mean, what's right? Something All right, then start with Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hard. <laughs> oh. It's all right. How do you spell <laughs> Louis Vuitton? <laughs> 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 she can't spell it. She can hurt. Oh, Jesus. Okay, guys, <laughs> what's the question? Okay, um, in the MPC, if there was a cross gender. Uh, competitor, how do you think the NPC would like categorize them? Where would they put them if they had both male and female parts? Would they let them compete in figure and maybe like well, here's another the thing. thing? How would that person wait, know? wait, wait, Gigi? Well, the thing like, is, how do you when, think they would handle in that? In the NPC, if right? somebody applies and they, they register, they have to put down male or female. Right. So if I'm a female and I put down I'm now a male, I'd have to put down male. So no one would really know unless I say something. I don't think or I show my but or I show myself. Yeah. yeah. But if you're wearing a bikini, I mean, I wouldn't. I've seen. Right? I've seen. Oh, I yeah. don't know. What do you You've say? Seen trans a male in bikini yes. strapped yes. real good. They, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They yes. tape it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why Tennille will not lose her panelist position. Oh, she yeah. has all this information. <laughs> Tennille, have you strapped it? No. But I, I can't. mean, no. you could, not yours, <laughs> but like, I'm not saying you have something to strap, but like, that this part has got to be really you. small. You're the kind of person, you're I a good friend. You right. are a good friend. I and I can see friend, you yeah. having a friend that needed to be so like, tape it to Neil, tape it to Neil. <laughs> and I've taped, I've taped some butts backstage, I will say that. I know, you're, oh, you're, yeah. you're, you're that <laughs> friend. I, 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 I don't know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know unless that person came out or it is known that. So okay. I would I mean, just, I'm not I just look, it. I I just look at a, them as a male or female. Whatever I went to a, a unisex, um, par, a unisex bachelorette party for two uh, males. Two males mm -hmm. that were two males that were getting married, and you know the guys were bending over and dancing, and I'm like trying to forcefully see like, where's your penis? And you know they're gorgeous, right? Yes. But you can't see the pe you can't yeah. see the penis. There's a place. Uh, there's a couple of clubs. Let's go. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. There's That's a couple fine. of clubs. It's coming about flash. No. Um, One of the elements. Of course I will. Let's go. Let's go. I'll go. Alejandro, you coming? We're going to road trip. <laughs> road trip. We're going to road trip. And I'm not sure we're allowed to take. My birthday's coming. We should go. We'll go for your birthday. Let's do it. Gigi okay. 21. 18. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next question. And um, tell us who you could just pick somebody randomly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the who most? Is it, who is it going to? I'll give it to. Oh, you. it's Tennille. Tennille. Yeah. What is the 
one thing that you're most ashamed of doing to a friend? Doing to a friend? That the, or that you've done to a friend. What's the That's a GG question. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why am I the bad person? We're allowed to pass once. Yeah, That's give me another it. question. No. Give me another question. No. I don't know. Like, ashamed of doing something to a friend. Could be like, anything. like an honest, maybe an honest observation. Would that be a shame? Would you be ashamed of that? Yeah, because it's kind of hard to tell friends things that, you know. Oh, yeah. was it? What was it? You know, like odor. Like oh, an odor like issue. Telling them oh, they no, have I'm body. Telling if I'm a good right, friend. if you're a good friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then you're, in, you know, but then it's I embarrassing. Mean, I, I, you know? I'm not, no. I don't want to speak for you, but don't but you mean like friend. something you did, like maybe you fooled around with their boyfriend? No, nah, she don't do that. Or, she don't do that. She don't do that. Or um, <laughs> she don't you do said that. you were going to, you know, you had plans because you didn't want to go to something mm -hmm. that and they, and then, like you just said, no, I have plans that night because you really didn't want to go to that event or something. You never did that. Like let's I say never he was talking that. to somebody I know. I would be like, no, I can't. We don't have to be like super duper best friend close, but just the fact that I know that you guys have dated, then you're off limits to me. That's a good friend. Yes. Mm. So that's me. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> That really didn't answer the question. But she, <laughs> she just, she just, she, she just gave us whatever she wanted. She just, she just, she just it was the answer to whatever question she wanted. Right. Okay, so basically, okay. you're here for no reason. No pressure, no pressure. Pretty. That's no pressure. So, no pressure. Go ahead, next question. All right, I'll give it to Italy over here. Oh. It's a silly Wait, one. Wait, she needs the sure, microphone. Sure. When you wake up in the morning and you go to brush your teeth, do you put the toothpaste on first or do you wet the toothbrush? <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. I, let's, let's what kind of person are you? <laughs> Why does it, what is the, I'm okay. just asking. Like, do you, right, I get it. Does your toothbrush no, 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 have to be wet or do you no, brush dry? No, I explain. I'm going to explain. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Yes. <laughs> I get the toothbrush and I get peroxide. I throw the peroxide on the toothbrush. Wow. wow she's got a whole system. <laughs> and then I That's brush right my person. teeth. Okay. <laughs> I wet the toothbrush, I spit the peroxide out, I get the Listerine, I goggle, hmm. then I'll get the toothpaste and I'll brush my teeth. So wow. when does Alejandro oh, get to brush his teeth? When does he get to brush his teeth? Hey, that's the way I do it. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I know. Everybody, like I said, everybody is different. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. So you, yes. you gargle and do all that liquid stuff before you actually brush yes. your teeth. Yes, yes. Yeah, because toothpaste really doesn't, doesn't, you know, really clean your germs. But it really doesn't. Do Does it toothpaste clean your germs? Like when no. you're at the dentist, they tell you to do all that stuff after the brushing. No, no, no. But I, I don't listen really to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to have no teeth. She has no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen <laughs> the dentist told me I have nice teeth, so I must be doing something right. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because he, he yeah. doesn't have any, right? <laughs> no. He does, he does. And how's your, fat, how's your fat guru, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll try it that way. Anyway, that's my. Uh, I, I know everybody's gonna do it from now on. Oh. <laughs> I know everybody's gonna do it. Try it. Because if you try think it. your system is a lie, you've never seen my husband's system. It's, it's worse than mine. Like, it's like a 25 minute. Like Stop. if Ron says, I'm going to brush my teeth, I can watch a whole episode of three CSIs. Oh, no. <laughs> there is nobody more particular, maybe Dave, because he's got wow. some crazy white teeth over there. Okay. I mean, as a matter of fact, we can turn the lights out and we can find Dave, okay? <laughs> and they're gonna find Dave 300 years after he's dead with those glowing white teeth in the ground. Teeth. Okay? Neon teeth. Ron's got like special water pick number one, two, three, and four. Oh, okay. And you know he's got backup number five, six, seven, and eight in the closet in case they die. Oh, so I, so what I said is really not out of the ordinary. No, I no. As a matter of fact, I, mean, I had a food list out, and I said, Ron, do you need anything? I need 3D Crest, crest White floss. I need the toothpaste. Yes. I need the mouthwash, and get me three of them, and that's gone in like two weeks. <laughs> wow. Oh okay, that's that's intense. That's that's he, extreme. and the water pick. Yeah. And the, and when he had to go for like, um, uh, he had to go to Vegas, he had to just fly out for a seminar. He's like, make sure my stuff is charged so I can bring it. And he's like, didn't need all the stuff for the client. He needed the water pit stuff and the toothpaste and all that. And I was like, when you want your clothes? No, make sure you got the water pick and the, yeah. it's all charged yeah, yeah. for the no, travel. No, no, no. That's really good. I, that's a, he probably, when he bushes his teeth, 
he probably doesn't bleed. And me, I'm right? like, from the gums? I because when you bleed, that Wait, means that over me. you're not doing a good job. No, no, uh, nobody here has mentioned floss yet. No, he flosses. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. you're right. I floss. Did. Everyone brushes and rinses. No, I, said floss. I don't floss every floss. day. I don't oh, floss, floss every day. <laughs> I don't floss every day. I'm telling you. And then he looks over, and this is me. I'm like, done. I'm like, and he's like, you going? Seconds. I'm like, I'm done. And let, guess what? No cavities till I was 20. I'm like, I'm good. It's genetics, Ron. You're, it's genetics. It's just going to fall right out, all that. It's going to be like, <laughs> you're going to uh, floss it right out. It's going to drop right in the sink, and I'm going to laugh while I'm watching CSI. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Anyway, oh, next question. All right, I'll give this one to Gigi. Um, wait, wait, since wait, everybody's wait, wait. so <laughs> interested in what she has going on, um, what two microphones yeah. for Gigi? <clears throat> oh wow, I feel whoa, like I feel like a president right now. <laughs> gotta, look at this, <laughs> the <this> CNN. <laughs> We're curious. So everyone wants to know usually like who you're dating or whatever. What kind of man are you looking for? Is he big, small, yeah, muscular? Gigi. What kind? Hmm? Oh wow! <clears throat> like what's your type? What's your type, Gigi? <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. Okay, when you say tall, dark, and dance, handsome, and you're looking at me, uh, <laughs> you know? She's got that Planet Fitness yeah. thing going you know? on. <laughs> tall, dark, and handsome. I don't know. Like, I mean, it's dark a hair. combination. Dark hair. Does he have to be a competitor? No. Oh, but if, she do you prefer a competitor? No. But if but I, I, I want yourself. somebody who shares some sort of common interest. Like, okay. they have to at least work out. If they're a competitor, that's great because they understand what I go through. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. is, is the name Benjamin? <laughs> no. No. You know, I, you talk, for you for those that know me, you know that I'm not like that. You know. <laughs> let me let me. If you had to be the the breadwinner in the relationship, would that be okay, Gigi? Bye bye. <laughs> This is this is this is bye 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 bye. This is a this is a team effort. So say bye bye. Just bye bye. It's fine. No, I mean I, I don't I don't know because I, I'm very old fashioned. So how I grew up, I think that it, you know usually it's a male. I, I, if Gigi knew, she would have the person. Let's just say that, okay? I think that she's still seeking the right person, and when the right person comes along, how do you know she doesn't have it. the right person? I, I'm one of her closest friends. I, you know, there's something. Something tells me that she might just have the right person. No, I, I think that something. Yeah, yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> she's a Panamanian psychic. You know it. You know it. Oh, Gigi's getting a question from. The chat box. Uh, ba they want to know perfect men's physique guy and, and bo men's bodybuilders that you find attractive. Repeat oh. it. Repeat it. Uh, wait, bodybuilding? And physique. Bodybuilding. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> bodybuilding. The one bodybuilder and the one men's physique that you find attractive. There's a lot of men's just physique pick. guys. There's a lot of bodybuilders, too, that are, are somewhat attractive. See, I would just pick our mailman because he's here. All right, name, name, <laughs> name three bodybuilders, name three physique guys. Good Don't choice. narrow it to, to one because it's too hard to, to name one. All right. Let's, then they're going to call you, and it's going to be, I'm going to have to figure it out. But how that's to, what they ask. You're going to blame I me. I think. Let's see. The viewer's Evan. always right. I think Evan. Still yes. Looking. Agreed. I think, um... Nick. Jillian. Yep. And, uh, and, wow. Why really? Um, <laughs> Sean Orden. Yeah. Let's and so physiques. Uh, physiques. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Matt. Oh, that's cute, though. Maddie. Like, I'm friends with Matt. I love Maddie. Um, yeah. and this, uh, I, I, I was cute. I think okay, I was good. quite handsome. Um, you have to say that he's sitting here. I don't. No. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. Agree. For anybody that knows me, I don't. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, uh, wicked. <laughs> I like. Uh, I like big butts in a can. <laughs> Steve <laughs> Cook. Steve Cook. He's still on that Steve Cook since last time. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. And, yeah, uh, I want you to give the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. review at the Olympia. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, who's that third one? <laughs> wow, this is 
This is oh. like really hard for me. All right, you get that's to enough, Let's enough, just move on to more right. questions. Yeah, oh, give Karina a question. Do me last. <coughs> okay. I wonder who want to ask that question. <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? Ooh, I like that question. Mm. Why did mm. you ask me that question? We can bring it to you. <laughs> Superpower. I don't know. I would like to fly. That's a great one. Aww. Did you go already? Hmm? Yeah, she was. Really yes. Right? I want to be invisible. <laughs> invisible? Yeah. The question is why you want to fly. Yes. Hmm. It's just I think the whole world is so beautiful. And now that I can see everything, I would like to see more. Aww. Aww. That's nice. Jeez. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. people need. Uh -huh. Did you? That's, that's beautiful. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Nancy? Same question. You want me to have the same question? I feel like you're going to have the best superpower. You're going to have a good reason, too. <laughs> I don't, I never dreamt about any of that. I don't, I'm not into superheroes. I'm not to, into any of that. Um, I guess, I, you know what, I'd go invisible and I'd go rob a bank. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> With Gigi. We're gonna rob a bank. No, I don't, I don't really, I really don't have a, a need for a superpower. But I want to throw a question out there. Because this is a dating question. Mm. And I thought about this. <coughs> if you're dating, because I'm kind of old fashioned with the dating, <sighs> and I'm, into the whole chivalry thing. Like the guy opens the door yeah, right. and the guy pays for the dates and and I like that. Mm -hmm. and Why do you make fun of me when like I say I just make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just look for any opportunity because it's fun. But I love you with all of my heart. And I really don't take the time to make fun of anyone I don't love. Mm -hmm. So um, but my question is in this day and age, and I'm thinking about it because I have a stepson that has a girlfriend, and he's like a guy that's just getting it, you know, doesn't mm -hmm. have, you know, he's still doing a master's, and he kind of, he works, and it's hard to pay for all the dates. I'm thinking of him, like, doing that. Mm -hmm. Who pays? So, you know, it's an interesting question because now women want equality. They're out there. They're dating. They're making money. The guy makes money, and if he has to pay for all the dates, is that the way it should be? Should the guy, and you're a guy here, mm -hmm. so, you know, and you have a girlfriend, so do you get stuck with paying for all the dates? And, you know, what if you want to take a girl away or you want to do something? Do you say, hey, I'll pay for the trip, you pay for the meal? Like, how does that work? Because I've never really been in that position. I've been married. You mean, like, on the, a date? Not, if you go on a first date, what do you do? Oh. Well, it depends. I think, um, I mean, there's been different situations where, you ask a girl out on a date, or a girl's like, I want to take you somewhere. So right? if a girl says, I want to take you somewhere, what happens? Then she's inviting you out, right? So then it's on her, wouldn't it be on her? Not on if, the first if, date. If she, well, first, no, I'm not talking about a first date. date. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking in general. On a first okay. date, yeah, I'll take care of the so girl. Regardless yeah. of whoever right? asks. Yes. So regardless exactly. of who asks, it's a first date. Yes. She asks you out. You should always offer, regardless of anything. Like, you should, you should just intuitively be like, I got this. And if she offers you, say, no, it's all right. You can have the next one if you want. Or right. the next time she says, I want to take you somewhere, she wants to show you she's inviting you, right? So okay. whatever's going on, mm -hmm. it's her doing for you. So, all right, you sit back and enjoy the ride. It, but if she invites you somewhere, I feel, I and, 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 and she shows you all this stuff, and then she looks at you like, um, <clears throat> are no, you taking care of this? Only on the first date. <laughs> only on the first date? Because I'm kind of like a, a, with the school of he pays. No All matter what, and and then you buy him stuff, or you do yeah. stuff for him, or you take him oh, on yeah. a trip in in cool. exchange for like, hey, you did, you know, you're taking, you know, but like the first three months or whatever it is, yeah. like, I don't, am I wrong? No. I think we sometimes do it's. I think it's sometimes it's. And we don't do Dutch. I'm a, I'm an equal. Like we both in the same boat. So if one day I feel like paying, I pay. I don't care. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I take him for a know. cruise. Sometimes and I it's pay. nice. Okay, I get that. No yeah. me gusta eso. Sometimes it's nice. <laughs> I mean, I think every girl right. likes likes to be picked up and taken somewhere, and she's like, oh, wow, this is nice and stuff like that. But no, once I, in a while, I think, I think it's nice if a girl right. says, babe, I'm going gonna, I'm yeah. gonna to pick you up, and we're going to go somewhere. Okay, yeah. and she takes yeah. care of everything, Absolutely. and you're like, thanks, right. that was awesome. I agree. Right? I agree that yeah. the girl should reciprocate after but i think in like the first Initially, like two yeah. months right. like the guy has to yeah. really like put it out there and mm -hmm. then the girl really needs to that's like, old fashioned. you know if they, okay yeah, i am old-fashioned that's, old that's how it yeah. should be 
open the door. So, you know. so would you date a guy who's broke? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it depends. No. Like, I would date with, a guy. Hold on, wait. A guy that's broke with a great personality, though. No, no. <laughs> no. No, but if somebody were, like, going towards their, like, degree or their profession or was in the middle of changing, it depends where I was. Like, when okay. I was in college, yeah. You know, I mean, at this point in my life, hell no. Well, no, yeah. Depending on the age, right. So No, I mean, where you are. Mm -hmm. I don't make excuses for anybody. I mean, don't forget how old I am. I don't I'm know. 21. Okay, exactly. <laughs> I've learned a lot in my 21 years. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up. And uh, Al, Vera, thank you for joining us Thanks as our mammon. Me. Great questions, and thank you to my panel for being here. Rosetta, I will invite you back. I was just teasing you. Can you say goodbye to everybody in Italian? Mm -hmm. Arrivederci, sogni d'oro. Arrivederci to the from the fitness view, Hold and on. in Spanish. Um, what? Buenas noches. <laughs> but antes de irnos, before we go, I'm going to be doing the tanning for the Montenegro Brothers on Ooh. next weekend. So <gasps> if Look you are still waiting for it, <laughs> please call me. My phone number is 407-973-4115. And book. Yes, it's and Karina is very talented. Mm -hmm. So that's the show next week at, for the Montanari Brothers. And and did you see Evan Centipani on that poster, Gigi? I did. Okay, mm -hmm. but he is that. he is quite taken with a lovely baby. Okay. We're not the speeding. And if you <laughs> don't know how to get in touch with Karine, you can always go. I'm going to put it up on um, on my Facebook page for her. So um, Nancy Norman Fitness View, and this is the Fitness View signing out. Thanks for joining us. Adios. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.